Today's the day we're gonna learn how to hit the sexiest shot in golf, that low spinner pitch shot. Look at that, that's the one you want. So easy, you're gonna get it. First, you wanna grab your most lofted wedge. This is the 60 degree wedge. I have 10 degrees of bounce. This is the PXGC grind wedge. So you are going to use a high lofted club to get a low, super low shot. Two, you're going to not only use your most lofted club, you're gonna open the face of the club about so much. So high loft, open face, should go high, but it goes super low. Yes, you can hit it low if you do the right things. So start with most off the club, open the face a little bit. Three is this ball position is gonna be key. If you put it forward, obviously, that's going to lead to a, a higher shot. So we don't wanna be forward in our ball position. And you would think that dropping it back is gonna send it super low, but no, that's going to use different like mathematical calculations, which will actually send the ball a little bit higher in the air. We don't want that. We want ball position with our narrow stance to be more center, slightly back, but definitely not way back. That's gonna defeat the purpose of the low spinner check. It'll be low, but it will be running. So different shot. Put it middle here, open the face like so, and then we're moving on to the next phase of the puzzle. Four is this. You're all set up. You're ready to rock and roll. We want our weight forward. Now, the thing we really want to know is the bottom of our swing arc. That's a totally different video. If you want that, click right over here. I'll, I did a video on how to find the bottom of your swing the low point, which is critical. Just know for this, you want your weight on your front side. Okay, that's gonna be very important. Using the tips from the other drill, it will allow you to find your low point because everybody's different. It's based on size, where your weight is distributed in your body and your arm length, everything. There's a way to find it. You can do it. Once you know it, you're set for forever. Okay, so as your weight comes forward on your front side, almost like 95% of your weight, also grip the club you are going to have the softest grip in the world if you have tight hands it's not going to work you must have a loose grip and we're holding that thing just enough so that club doesn't fly out of my hand and never squeeze harder than that moving on okay number five is this your feet are going to be aiming left about yay much i'm kind of going let's say i want to hit it at that far flag my feet are going to aim at this first flag the club face is open so it's really pointed at the flag i'm going to and i'm going to take that back a lot steeper than i normally would here so i'm not going to bring it inside if you bring it inside you're looking at a higher softer shot out to the right it will go right if you take it back inside here i want to take it really steep up, steeper than I normally do. Because that's gonna have the descending blow that you need to create a lot of backspin. But if you don't know how to get the descending blow on the ball correctly, it's not gonna work. We're gonna cover that in just a second. Just know for here that you are gonna have to practice taking it pretty straight up is what it's gonna feel like. All right, six is this. I know there's a lot, but don't worry. You'll get them all as you practice. Just do one at a time and move along and it will all come together and you'll be like, oh, I got it, I got it. Once you start getting it, you're like, I got it. So here's number six. We got our weight forward, everything's good. As we take it back and we transition, this is the key moment. You can take it back. I want your weight from this point, your swing, is to kick forward even more. So. You take it back here, here's your first move, is kick your weight forward in your hip. I'm trying to get this hip to kick a little more forward as, as I transition, that's it. If anything, the angle of my hip weight is not up, I wanna transfer my weight, which is already forward, I want a little more, and I'm kind of letting it point at an angle, like I'm trying to stab the club in the ground here. This is a good visual. Take it back, and then my weight goes either parallel or slightly down this way 
as I descend into the ball. And you should finish, very important, your weight bumps forward and you finish on the outside of your front foot here. And this toe needs to come up off the ground just to make sure you're doing everything correctly. Right there, that should be your finish position. One more thing and you're a rock star. Last piece of the puzzle here, I'll show you right here. As you strike the ball, okay, what you're trying to do, you're taking a steep, I'm trying to hit it right around here on the face so you've gotta really hit the ball. But what I'm consciously thinking is this, I'm trying to smush this ball into the ground like this. Like this is the visual I have in my head of how I wanna hit it like this. Although my hands aren't gonna be forward like this, I'm thinking I'm pushing that ball into the earth so you're trying to get it into the ground with a lofted face. Doesn't make sense, the laws of physics would never even allow that, but what it will allow it to do is shoot that ball off super low with a ton of backspin and you're gonna love the results. That's how you hit that sexy low spinner with tons of spin. You're gonna love it. It's gonna take some practice, but that's what you're here for. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.